Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today we're going to be reviewing the Ansel FX2000. And this thing is really rugged and compact. It's got a nice 4-inch screen. And this is going to be a complete scan tool. All professional grade material here with the labor rates and diagnostic fees going up everywhere. Having one of these little scan tools in your glove box is definitely going to save you money in the long run. And if you have a vehicle that's 2005 and newer, this is going to allow you to access many different modules of the vehicle, like the SRS system, which is going to be for your airbag, the ABS system, which is for the anti-lock braking system. It can clear check engine lights and transmission lights as well. So this is definitely really cool, and it does work on any vehicle. That's 1996 and newer and full support for all vehicles that are going to be 2005 and newer. So definitely stay tuned till the end. I'm going to be trying this on three different vehicles. We're going to have a gasoline powered vehicle, a hybrid powered vehicle, and even a European diesel. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to show you how to plug this in. And if we have time in the video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and connect this to the computer so you can do the update so you can get the most amount out of your scan tool here. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to connect this to your vehicle. So this is the OBD2 connector and on most vehicles on the driver's side footwell area you're going to notice there's a connector just like this. This is the OBD2 port. And so that little connector just slides right on. It only goes on one way. As soon as it's connected, it's going to go ahead and power up. And what you want to do now is turn the ignition on to where the check engine light is on. Motor is off. And don't confuse the check engine light with the maintenance required light. So this is the actual interface of this FX2000 and it's probably the simplest and easiest to use I've actually come across and so only got three options. We got a diagnosis, settings, help. We got a DTC lookup right here. We have a little scrolling tool. We got an enter button and we also have a back or an escape button and all you want to do is go to diagnose. Now you can access OBD2, you could access the manufacturer side, and you could also review data that you've recorded. So I just want to show you guys really quick the manufacturer specific data, and this is actually pretty comprehensive. So we got Acura, Audi, Ford, Benz, BMW, Chrysler, Ford, Fiat, GM, uh, Hyundai, Honda, Jaguar, Isuzu. Infinity and the list goes on and we're going to actually scroll down to Toyota here. And we got a VW right there. Alright, so now we're going to go and hit OK. Now you just choose the region where your vehicle is actually designed for so we're in North America here and just hit auto without having to type in the VIN anything else it's going to automatically communicate and now I'm able to scan the engine side of the vehicle the transmission or the electronically controlled transmission the ABS vehicle slip control traction control and the safety restraint system or the airbag system as we better uh, as is better known let's go ahead and go under engine and we can read codes we can erase codes and we can read current data so we're going to go ahead and read current data because this is really unique and the interface on this is amazing and on the video I'm actually not speeding anything up so you're going to see how quickly this actually pulls up live data without having to sit here and wait for 20-30 seconds. So this is going to be the most responsive unit I've actually tested under $500. I had an older Autel system that I purchased for $1,500 
and this is going to be way faster than that so this is pretty impressive all right so we're going to go ahead and just go to primary data stream one And let's just say we want we want the calculator load, air intake, ambient temperature, and we want the cooler temperature. And all we gotta do now is to launch that is hit the escape button here. And I'm gonna start the vehicle up. As you can see, that was right. As you can see, we got the data right away. And there is really no delay in this. So that gets a huge thumbs up from me because this is because the responsiveness of this is really mind blowing considering the price that you have to pay for this. It's uh, astonishing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and trigger our check engine light to make sure that this can actually pull up the check engine light data and it can erase it successfully as well. And now I've actually triggered a check engine light and with my check engine light on we're going to go ahead and erase it using this FX2000. Let's go ahead and access this data really quick on the OBD2 side. And that was really fast and easy, so we can go pull up the current codes. We got a P102, a P113, and this is basically the same code because it's pending, and then it's permanent as well, so there's only really two check engine lights. We're going to quickly visit the inspection monitors and as you can see all my inspection monitors here are going to be ready so we got the misfire the fuel system we got the comprehensive component monitor the catalyst monitor which is ready we got the evap monitor which is ready oxygen monitor which is ready and the oxygen sensor heater monitor which is ready and the EGR so as you guys have and if you guys have watched my previous videos anytime you're buying a vehicle if you have a scan tool like this you're really going to be able to guarantee that you're getting a much better vehicle as long as the all the components as long as all the components are ready and you do not have a check engine light on because if you go there and the check engine light is off however one of these monitors says incomplete what has most likely happened is uh, the person's actually erased the check engine light right before you arrive. So be wary of that and always scan the vehicle before you purchase it. Now we're going to go actually on the Toyota side and see how this actually reads. So we have the P102 which is for the mass airflow sensor circuit low and the air intake temperature circuit which is represented by this P113 and in case you guys don't know DTC stands for diagnostic trouble code. And now we're going to go ahead and erase that check engine light and we're going to say yes. So the check engine light has been successfully erased. Let's go ahead and verify. And as you guys can see, the check engine light is definitely gone. And now I'm gonna show you guys really quick what those inspection monitors will now look like.
And now I'm going to show you really quick what those check engine. Now I'm going to show you really quick what those inspection monitors would look like when they're incomplete. So now you can see with the check engine light cleared, we have a catalyst monitor that's incomplete. We also have the EVAP, the oxygen sensor uh, monitor, the heater monitor for the oxygen sensor, the EGR. So that's a really good way of making sure that you're buying a vehicle that's ready and has passed the drive cycle. So never avoid this step. And now we're going to be testing this on a hybrid Prius. Same exact thing, we're going to grab our connector here, and on this vehicle here, it's going to be white, and we can see it right there, and it's just going to slide right on. Alright, so our connector is slid on. We have power. I got my ignition on, my check engine light is on, motor's off and we're connected okay so really quickly we're gonna go ahead and connect to the Toyota side on this vehicle All right, let's make sure that this can communicate. All right, so let's make sure we can communicate with this hybrid vehicle as well. So no check engine lights, eight monitors that are complete, none that are incomplete. And let's see if we got anything going on in the check engine light department, nothing. And we're able to view data streams here as well. That's pretty responsive. And we could actually graph data as well. So look at that. I'm graphing a lot of different components right now, so it's definitely not getting bogged down. The last vehicle we'll be testing is a Mercedes-Benz diesel. This is going to be a Sprinter. And on certain vehicles, the OBD2 port is a little harder to locate. So you, what you want to do is try to look around the wheel well area. And on this vehicle, it's going to be located right up there. And on this vehicle, it's located right underneath that plug. So let's go ahead and connect this vehicle now too. And this time let's go through the actual sprinter side. And check out all these different components that this little scan tool can actually support. So we got the SRS system. We got the electronically controlled transmission. All right, so here is a little truth about a lot of European vehicles. When a battery goes dead, there's going to be a lot of codes and different things that are getting get thrown off. So I have all these pending codes on the memory unit of my uh, Sprinter here. So it records pretty much basically everything. 
that my diesel exhaust fluid was low um, and everything is recorded so let's see if we can actually clear this out now Check that out. We have no more codes. So for under $200, this little unit uh, just handled a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. And one thing with European vehicles, the controls on this particular vehicle, from what I've tested on BMWs and Mercedes, have been mind-blowing. So really responsive unit. Supports a lot of different makes on here. And uh, let me show you guys how to go ahead and connect this to the computer now. Now I'm going to one of the coolest features of it, this FX2000, which is includes lifetime updates. That's pretty darn cool. So what you want to do is go to anzeldirect.com and click on that download button right there. Once you click on the product, you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says FX2000 right here and hit download. After you download the software, go ahead and install it. And if your PC has never seen this vendor before, you're going to get a little error. And instead of clicking Don't Run, you want to go ahead and hit More Information and then Run Anyway. Say Yes. And just go through the steps. After you're done, go ahead and hit finish. Now on your desktop, you'll have this update tool right here. And hit yes. Let that launch. Once that tool launches, you want to change the setting from Chinese to English. And you want to grab your serial number. And your serial number is going to be right on the back of the unit. Right here. Or you can go through the setup menu. And you can update two different ways. I'm going to go ahead and eject the card out of this little cover, which is much easier. Or you can go ahead and use a micro USB 2 and connect the cable to your computer. So the cable is included. And also included is going to be this little micro SD card reader. And your little card that is in the bottom there just slides in here. Now you can put this in any USB port on your PC. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and insert that into here. And that was pretty cool. Right when I inserted that little tiny USB drive in there, it automatically detected the serial number. Now you want to go ahead and select device upgrade. You can type in your email address now. It's going to give you a registration code. Go ahead and type in your email address and your registration code will be automatically filled out. Now you'll get a screen where you get to choose the updates and you want to just go ahead and hit update and everything should be automatically filled out on the left hand side. Now you'll get a screen where you can choose the make you want to go ahead and update and just hit download and it will start downloading each of the updates. And after about 7 minutes, everything was downloaded and 47 items were updated. So that's pretty cool. The software on this is really, really easy to use. So that definitely gives another thumbs up. Thank you for checking out the video. If you guys have any comments, please comment below. I'm going to have a link to the vendor that I got this from. I've also purchased a power probe off them and another little scan tool that was under 60 bucks and Ansel is really making a name for itself in the automotive community here so definitely check them out if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and mash on that notification bell so anytime i post videos that are aimed to save you time and money that you guys will get notified if you guys like my format and the way i do things on this channel which is really being direct and giving you guys the most value for your time Check out my real estate channel, which is Adam Does Real Estate. I'm going to have a link to it below and as well as at the end of the video. Have a fantastic day and thank you again. Hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.